my channel so today's video is going to be a self-care Saturday routine this week was just honestly really really crazy I was just feeling weird all week I was like forgetting stuff I was super tired and honestly just like didn't feel like myself at all so I'm just gonna show you guys you know how I just really pour into myself you know after a long week and so the first thing we're gonna start off with is watching an inspirational video so the main creators that I watch when it comes to like when I really need inspiration are gonna be Tony Gaskins Brainy Lee Rebecca Lynn Pope and then Jerry Flowers aka redefine TV they really just you know really lift my spirits and so the one we're watching today is actually from Jerry Flowers who I also featured in my Sunday reset video and it's a therapy Thursday so it's not necessarily a sermon but it is still you know be based in the Bible you know biblical based so blah 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 blah, blah biblically based so yeah I just see my mind is just been off but you yeah, know so I'm really looking forward to it so let's get into it in Genesis chapter 1 verses 3 through 4 where we see God saying let there be light greater lights by day and lesser lights by night. The greater lights by day is the sun and the lesser lights by night is the moon and the stars. And the distinction between these two is what we have day and night, day one and day two. And during this whole process, God was able to see, even though I'm not at day five yet, day one is good. Even though I'm not at day six yet, day two is good. I know that man is not ready to come in this atmosphere yet, but it's still good. And like I articulated many times, it's God-like to see the good in stuff that's unfinished. Amen. Are you able to see yourself still as good through Christ, still see yourself as good, and know I'm not ready yet? I'm not ready yet. There's still some healing that has to happen in my heart. I'm not ready yet. There's still some training I have to get. I'm not ready yet. I want you to be able to identify the not ready. We are preached too much to about your season, but I want us to identify when it's not our season, when we are in off season and it's not time, but you don't question your call because you're not doing what you're called to do in this season. Just not ready yet. You're not ready if this season feels like a prison. If you are still, I can't wait, you're missing what God is trying to teach. If this season feels like a prison, every offer will look like a bail bond. More money, more opportunities, more open doors, relational interests, they will always be viewed as a way out of where you currently are. It, it's, it's when I learn to trust, like we read in the text, that there's a time for everything and God is the one that sets time there's an appointed time and when I have learned how to get out of this season everything that God wants me to get out it's not just getting out of it it's what am I supposed to get out of it I should not go into 2023 just as carnal I should not go into 2023 just as broken the worst place you could ever be is the same place you were this time last year. Faith is not just what you believe, but how long can you believe it? So that message really, really blessed me. I honestly wasn't expecting it to affect me the way that it did because it honestly was just like really right on time. Like this whole week, I had just been kind of feeling down. Honestly, it was just like, I feel like I've been in this sacrifice season forever. Like y'all that know me, I'm a fourth year veterinary student. So I'm literally four years in with the struggle, <laughs> you know, which is just, it's just a lot on you mentally, physically, financially, like you're in isolation, at least in my case. Um, so it can just be a lot. And I just found myself, you know, just getting down about not being able to have certain things and constantly having to deny myself um, certain things, like little things I may want to buy or whatever. But what I had to realize is that, like, you know, yeah, I might not be able to have certain things right now, but at the end of the day, all my actual needs, not once, my needs are actually being accounted for and they're taken care of. Like God has already taken care of them. Like I have a roof over my head. I have food in my fridge. You know, I have clothes to cover my body. So just always remember to practice gratitude. That's something I have to really check myself on this week and like you said in the video like the worst thing you can do is you know view the current season that you're in as a prison like i just do not want to you know 
not get what I'm supposed to get out of this season right now because I'm already focused on, you know, well, when I graduate, this will happen. When I graduate, I can have this, I can buy this, you know, like instead of just focusing on those things, focus on the moment. Because I feel like if you're constantly like waiting on the next best thing, you'll never actually be content in the season that you're in. Even when you do achieve that next level or the thing you've been hoping for, like you're always just going to be looking to the future and never actually appreciate what you have in front of you. So I really just encourage you guys to, you know, just check your heart posture and your perspective on life. Like just because, just because it may seem like you know delayed right now or denied right now that's not the case like there's like you said there's a time and place for everything like there's an appointed time for you know whatever it is that you're trying to do whether it's start a business have a family get married whatever it may be there's an appointed time for all of it so just don't get discouraged you know and like you said in the video like faith like faith isn't just having faith but it's how long you can remain faithful like that really hit me up like okay like sometimes it's really gotta play for the long game <laughs> like it's really endurance so yeah i just pray that you guys were encouraged by the little clips that i did show but i do encourage you to go and watch the full video i'll leave the link down below in the description box but yeah now we gotta get some food some good eats well i'm gonna make some good eats <laughs> i've been eating out all week which is really bad because one to be adding up two is processed food a lot of it it's like real food for real and so my body it just doesn't suck up for your body and my body is like every time i eat like a lot of processed food be like girl what are you doing and i'm just like no so anyway we want to make some pot roast which is always good especially you know it starts to get cold outside it's a nice hearty meal so i'm looking forward to it i haven't made it in a minute um and i'm trying a new seasoning blend so i'm excited so yeah let's get into it Alrighty, so now I'm just washing my meat. Y'all, this was a $17 piece of meat. I literally bought it on accident. You know how to say like $5.99 per pound. I'm over here in Russia and thinking that's the price, not knowing the meat was three pounds, but yeah, it's fine. So I'm just patting it dry. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of oil before I add my seasoning blend. And the seasoning blend I'm using today is a mix of cumin, oregano, um, onion powder, garlic powder, and chili powder. And I'm also going to add some salt and pepper to taste as well. Just blending that all in and I season both sides. And then now I'm just going to wrap this up and set it aside for later while I start to prep my vegetables. So I'm just going to give those a good wash and I'm going to be using onion red potatoes um, fresh garlic in addition to the celery and the carrots i'm gonna cut those up into about i'll say like an inch um size pieces So now I'm just adding some badia seasoning to season my veggies. And I'm gonna add them to a heated um, cast iron skillet with some olive oil just to cook them down a little bit. It's gonna help you know release more flavor when you put them in the crock pot. So I'm just gonna cook those for about five minutes. And then after five minutes, I'm gonna add the fresh garlic and mix that in. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and put a first layer within the crock pot and then we're gonna lay the meat on top. So first, now we're going to sear the meat because um, this also helps add additional flavor to your um, pot roast. So you're going to sear both sides with some butter, some thyme. So for our sauce, we're going to be making some beef broth. So I'm using the beef bouillon with some hot water, some butter, some flour to thicken it up. And I'm also going to add a quarter cup of um, red wine. I use Pinot Noir. And it's going to let that cook down a little bit to cook the alcohol off. And then I'm adding in the beef broth that I made, some tomato paste, and some Worcester sauce. And I also added some brown sugar as well to um, counteract any bitterness. So I'm just adding the thyme, the sauce, and y'all, this is where I messed up. I literally put it on high. I was so distracted by recording. 
that I cooked it on high for eight hours. Usually you're only supposed to cook it on high for four hours or low for eight hours, but thankfully it was a pretty big piece of meat, so it's still moist, but I was really sick. But this is the final product. I just made some stovetop mac and cheese. I wasn't trying to do the whole big thing. I'm gonna wait for Thanksgiving for that. All right guys, so I just finished eating. And baby, chef's kiss, chef's kiss. Like, drone's bomb. Still mad that I overcooked the pot roast. <laughs> ah! But it's okay. It's all right, because the flavor was still there. You know, the flavor was still there. And yeah, that's all that matters. As long as it tastes good, at the end of the day, it's just like, it is what it is. And I'm not, never made myself as to be a master chef. I just like to cook, you know, and I like to show it, so whatever. So yeah, next time, I'm probably gonna make some more gravy, honestly, throughout the week, just to keep it moist or whatever. But yeah, anyways, the mac and cheese was hitting. Green beans was good, you know, you gotta have a balanced meal with the veggie or whatever. But yeah, now I'm going to get some ice cream, which is my heart. And then I'm gonna sit on the couch. And I'm gonna finish the last episode of In the Dark. That is my show. If you watch the show too, let me know down below. Like they really been putting their foot in this season. Like, woo! I'm just so sad it got canceled, but it's okay. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to just relax a little bit, you know. Do what I like to do, watch some Netflix, eat some ice cream, and just relax, you know. It's not every time, work, work, work. Just relax. I muted this part just to not spoil it too much, but just know this show is crazy. Like, if you watch this joint, if you know, you know. Like, that's all I'm saying. Bro, what? <laughs> so that finale was nuts. <clears throat> all right, what? Wow. So that's him. It's him. I'm still shook but anyway so it's starting to get late so I think I'm gonna go ahead and wind down for the night and I'm getting the itis <laughs> more importantly so now I'm gonna go ahead and take our bath um, and just really just unwind before we go to sleep so I'm actually gonna start off with a shower just so I'm not marinating in any dirt from the day so I have these little shower fizzers that I got from the dollar store y'all them things barely work oh, I just want to show you my shower curtain real quick because it's literally so cute but yeah, they're supposed to be lavender scented and you're supposed to run it under the water and then drop it to the bottom and let it do its thing. But yeah, I honestly was unimpressed, but you know, it's the thought that counts. All right guys, so I'm out the shower, about to get in the bath. I wanna do a face mask before I get in there. So I'm doing the Freeman Deep Cleansing Mud Mask with charcoal and black sugar. I just got this from Sally's like the other day because it was on sale. So hopefully it's good. I've really been wanting like, you know, a mud mask because I have like that Aztec one, the green powder. But I don't like mixing stuff. I want something that's already ready. So we're gonna try this out. So it's like gray, black. Yeah, it's pretty smooth consistency. All right, so we are ready for our bath. I'm looking forward to it. I'm stiff as a board, so hopefully it helps relax me a little bit. And that this mask does what it needs to do. So I'll let y'all know.
so I'm not really a wine drinker, but kiwi strawberry snapples be having me in a chokehold. I know it's not necessarily giving grown and sexy, but baby, I don't care. I love me some snapple and I'm never gonna be too old for a bendy straw, so yes. Cheers to self care. And then I also had that book with me, Atomic Habits, that I ended up reading while I was in the tub. It was so relaxing. But yeah, that's a wrap, folks. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. But really, I just encourage you guys to take some time during this week to just do something that, you know, makes you happy and just relax. Like, life is way too short just to work yourself to death. Like, we were not put on this earth to work, pay bills, and die. So I just encourage you guys to do that. And let me know if you guys like this style vlog in terms of having a mix of talking and voiceover or if you prefer voiceover only or no voiceover at all. Let your girl know. I really value you guys' feedback and I want to know what y'all like. So yeah, until next time. Bye!